When designing your website, it's really important that you consider your website content management system or CMS. Your website content management system is how you control your website and how you upload changes to your website and bring it live on the internet. The most popular CMS is WordPress.org, which is an open source system. It's a super powerful because you can upload thousands and thousands of themes and you can also upload thousands and thousands of plugins. This means your website can be customized to suit your needs. And there's also countless aftermarket plugins and themes. So there really is no limitation to what you can achieve with a WordPress website. You can also consider other CMS systems like Squarespace or Wix. These are often easier to use, but have more limitations because they're simpler. When designing your website, it's important to consider the goals of your website. This way, when you build and design your website, you can plan these goals into the website and better achieve them. It's important to identify your primary goal and then your sub goals. A great way to learn this is look at websites and see how they've done it. Let's look at Australian Clinical Trials Alliance website and how they've achieved this. On the home page, you can see the first thing you notice is this call to action down here that takes you to their membership site. This is a great example of them aligning their primary goal and making it easy to do because people like their hands held when they come to a website. They need to be told what they want, what to do. You can also see that they've considered their secondary goals and that is to educate people about what ACTA is. And you can see as you scroll down, the next call to action becomes about learn more about ACTA. So this is super important because they've identified their primary goal and then their secondary goal and they've made it really easy for people using the website to achieve both of these. By planning these goals and writing it down, you make it easier for web developers to go in and set up tracking systems so that they can track how people convert and whether they complete these goals or not on your website. SEO or search engine optimization is the process of improving the quality and quantity of traffic coming to your website through search engines. The idea is simple. You want your website to rank on the first page of Google for your target keywords. In order to discover your target keyword, I recommend using Google Keyword Planner in order to find them. It's a free tool provided by Google and lets you discover how many people are searching search terms in Google. In this example, I just looked up actor and you can see it gets almost 10,000 monthly searches each month in Australia. This is a really powerful tool to find keywords which you want your website to rank for. Search engine optimization is actually quite simple but really hard to achieve. The idea is that you want to have an extremely high quality website with great content. And this can be divided into technicalities of your website and content of your website. Content on your website refers to the text and the images and the documents that you include in your website and how people consume it. And then the technicalities of your website include the structuring of your website, how it's been built, the organization, how fast it loads, and whether you have the right security installed on your website or not. So those are the two pillars of SEO, content and the technicalities. Once your website's published on the internet, it's important to start tracking the analytics about how people are using your website. This is really important because there's lots of detailed information about how people are using and interacting with your website. And this can be extremely helpful for making informed decisions when designing a website and producing new services and understanding what your consumers want. Google Analytics is a free software provided by Google that plugs into your website and captures enormous amounts of data about how people are interacting with your website. For example, you can look at the demographics of people, you can look at acquisition, so how they get to your website, you can look at their behaviors, so what they do when they get to your website, and you can look at conversion rates. So you can look at what they, if they achieve goals when they get to a website. These are all really important things to track and help you make informed business decisions. The follow on step from this is that you can then use this data to report to people and share 
to prove that your marketing or communications activities are bringing valuable to your business. And this is an evidence-based based approach.